I'm at a cafe oh right next to a train track and it is just one of the six weirdest cafes that I've found all over Asia serving some of the strangest meals and drinks that I've ever seen featuring tents, wizards and very peculiar themes and objects so we can find and crown the weirdest cafe in Asia we start in Vietnam here right on a train track and they actually sell one of the weirdest coffees in the world which is made from eggs but apparently it's really nice I wasn't sure when I first heard about the egg coffee but when I found out it's right next to an active train track I had to check it out this is egg coffee Oh wow, but that's really nice. It's really, really good. They whisk the egg yolk with condensed milk and pour it on top of the coffee. But the most crazy part about this cafe is how close we are seated to the track. You're literally centimeters away from the train as it passes by. And obviously it has become quite the tourist spot in Vietnam. But I will say it is one of the coolest experiences you'll ever have. That was insane, I'm not even gonna lie to you. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. Like the train was literally, you'd think it's quite far away, but it's literally like this close to your face. And this is like one of the nicest coffees I've tasted. On the weird scale, it's like an eight, but on the enjoyment, I enjoyed that like 10 out of 10. It's one of the coolest things I've ever done. Let's go to the next spot. Yo the wizard Harry, this place is as if I was in Harry Potter and from all the two movies that I've actually watched which was the first one and Deathly Hallows part 2, I mean don't ask why it seemed to match everything that I knew about it there's wood everywhere and fire and there's a hat that I assume is a wizard's hat floating candle lights and even Mr Owl which I learned after a while is actually a female I had a look at the menu and uh, it looked really weird there's this particular drink that intrigued me it's called a flaming brew and has a very peculiar colour Oh my god, that is really nice. I think it's got alcohol in it though, so... Uh oh. <laughs> and then the main course came, which was chicken and of course, fire! Oh, that's insane, cool. Mm. Holy smoke. I also had this cauldron of blood. Joking, it's just beetroot soup. But it was very tasty, just like everything else here. But the most ironic thing is the only normal thing in this cafe is the coffee. It's just coffee. On a weird scale, it probably gets, I say, a 9 out of 10. There was flambe, there was like fire on the food, there was fire on the drinks, there was fire on the chicken, there was fire on everything, there was a fireplace inside as well. So I'm not sure if anything's going to be able to top this one. Alright, let's move to the next place. I forgot where I'm going to next, so let's just do a click. We're here in Phuket, Thailand. So behind me there, it's a tent cafe. So apparently there's lots, everything's like tent themed or something. It did make me wonder whether there was going to be an actual tent inside. And there was. It was a small tent and kind of like those really bougie ones that you see. But it was like my own little huddle patch. And these feathers above me scared me a lot. I, I, I don't know why, but it, it, it just scares me. There was just one very disappointing thing though. Do you know what? They don't have that many like weird foods here. And the pad thai was normal. Yummy, but normal. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe like a tent pad thai? How would that even look? I generally don't know, but a ten pad Thai would have been cool. I mean, sorry, very long time Thai food. But very nice. Right, guys, we just finished, and you know what? The food was actually really, really nice. Like the place isn't that weird. It's like in a tent, and it's quite cool. So I think on a weird scale, it gets like a six. Let's go ahead to the next spot. We're still in Thailand, and this one, not gonna lie, I felt really weird entering. <laughs> It's a whole cafe themed around unicorns. It looks like somebody just found out about My Little Pony and spat out a whole cafe. But as weird as it is, it's low-key pretty cool, isn't it? As you can imagine, all the foods are unicorn themed. The cupcake has arrived. <laughs> Let's taste this cupcake though. I know it's rainbow themed, but it's actually really yummy. There's one thing though. I kind of feel like a nonce here. <laughs> There's also this really nice hot cocoa and the waffles looked amazing for a 5 year old, not a 23 year old man. I did yam through the food very quickly and let's be honest it is not a pretty sight. The food tastes so good but I just felt like a peed the ideal age range for someone that goes there is like 5 to 10. A big 23 year old going to a unicorn cafe. So I think on the weird scale it gets like a solid 8. Alright let's go to the next spot. This one is all about lemons. Everything here is lemons. There's a lemon tree, lemon menu, lemon cake, lemon croissant, and even a lemon pasta. Lemon, 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 lemon. Oh, this looks delicious. I can't lie to you. It's so, so, so good. Mm. Mm, they warmed it up. Oh, goodness. I love lemons now. Mm. Thank you. I really like pasta, but I haven't had pasta in so long. I don't think the lemon zest would be nice, but. It's actually really, really tasty. 
<laughs> the food was amazing. The food was so tasty, but it's not really weird. Like on the weird scale, it's probably like five. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Our final stop is in Korea. Wait, not that one. South Korea. I'm at a cafe themed completely around poop. Everything seems to have some sort of relation to a toilet basin or the shape of a cartoon poop, which are pretty cute, but also a bit weird, innit? I feel like you only see these types of cafes in Asia. Like you just wouldn't find a place like this anywhere else. And the fact that it was really busy here means it's quite popular. But now it depends on the food to see whether it takes a crown as the weirdest cafe in Asia. This is a, uh, a mojito latte. It's in a toilet basin. <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually a mojito. I quite like that, that's really, really nice. They also serve this poop-shaped waffle with ice cream. I don't really know what I'm expecting. <laughs> that's really, really good. I haven't even seen this, but I really like the poop here. On the weird scale, I say it gets like a solid 9 out of 10, just for the concept. But there is such a weird thing to do. The Poop Cafe probably is the weirdest cafe that I've ever been to. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this video as well. Okay, bye.